All right, let's keep going. So in 2001, the Open Web Application Security Project is formed. This is a nonprofit international foundation dedicated to helping all of us learn about application security. Our mission is to make application security visible so that people and organizations can make informed decisions about application security risk. All of our materials are free, et cetera. I believe in OWASP. It is a really like, there's a lot of mixed nuts in OWASP. I'm one of them, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect, but OWASP has helped me learn about application security more than anything else that I've ever interfaced with. By 2002, the developer's guide came out. By 2008, we have the beginning of the application security verification standard, the ASVS standard 2008. 2009, we see the first OWASP top 10 release candidate one. The XSS prevention cheat sheet is published by Jeff Williams, most popular resource on OWASP to ever be visited. And we see the work of OpenSAM, the software assurance maturity model, all open and free guides and tools. What else can we see at OWASP? 2015, we see the OWASP dependency check, a third-party library security scanner. Are you taking a picture of me, sir? Wait, wait, one more, one more. Go, 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 quick, quick, picture, picture, quick. All right, all right. He's not, he's not playing my game. So it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So 2015, we have these, we have Security Shepherd coming out, a great capture the flag system. Uh, the work of Juice Shop shows up from, um, from our German friends. So we now have a huge number of tools. 2018, we see the Internet of Things top 10. 2020, there's 50 cheat sheets. This is the living encyclopedia of OWASP promoted to flagship. Hundreds of volunteers helping us write guides and application security. And in 2022, we see the OWASP top 10 2021-22 released and the application security verification standard 4.03 released. These are, I believe these are great documents. The OWASP top 10 is where you start to learn a little awareness about application security. And then the ASVS standard is something more comprehensive to base a whole program off of. These are guides that people would usually pay consultants a great deal of money to build for them. And now they're free. They've gotten quite mature in terms, of their, in terms of how they're written. So we have a whole collection of flagship projects at the OWASP Foundation to help you learn and actually do application security.